In today's video, we're gonna talk about a new Blender add-on called Colorist Pro, which is a tool that brings color grading directly to Blender's 3D viewport. The add-on seems very interesting, so without further ado, let's see what it can offer. First of all, it includes tons of features that let you control and color grade your renders, and the way it works is very easy. You basically have a bunch of controls and settings and you just have to adjust them according to the style that you need or the final look that you are looking for. By using these settings, you'll be able to freely control the color management, color grading, lens flare, selective color, glare, lens dirt, film emulation, and also aspect ratio and resolution. Now, you are probably saying that you can already do this using Blender composite nodes, and you might think this tool won't be worth the money. This is also what first came to my mind when I saw this add-on. However, this add-on is very different. It offers a whole different workflow which I find more easy and fast. The way I see it, you will totally forget about relying on nodes if you use this add-on because it offers various controls and settings that can simulate the same effect as nodes. But of course, with nodes you will have more freedom and more creativity to do whatever you want. So, this add-on can be good for people who don't like to use nodes, but if you are more comfortable with them, then I suggest you stick to the compositor or use add-ons that use nodes such as Uber Compositor. Now, let's check some of the features that this add-on offers. First off, you can use professional lights directly in your viewport to instantly change the look and feel of your scene thanks to its real-time light integration, which includes a cinematic preview and node delays. The add-on also includes two light packs that you can use. We have a Colorist Pro pack, which consists of seven lights created specifically for Blender, and a Hollywood-inspired pack that comprises of nine movie-inspired lights, inspired by movies like The Joker, Fallen Angels, Blade Runner 2049, and many others. In addition, with the help of the add-on's color grading panel, you can easily adjust the highlights, midtones, shadows, whites, and blacks of your photos while maintaining perfect coloring accuracy and mood. You can also use the white balance feature to adjust the temperature and tint of your photos. Selective color grading is another fantastic feature that gives you more creative freedom and control over your image by allowing you to target and manipulate specific colors. And you can also use the Film Emulation tool to add warmth and character of analog film to your digital renders and quickly generate film grain and halations. One of the most amazing features of this add-on is the lens dirt and flare feature where by using simple sliders and buttons, you can create stunning real-time lens flares that dynamically interact with the light sources in your scene, mimicking the subtleties of professional camera optics. You can also use sliders to easily create and customize glares and add real lens dirt and imperfections to your scenes for a touch of authenticity and to easily achieve a more realistic look. And the best thing about this add-on, in my opinion, is how simple and convenient it is to use. All you have to do is open your 3D viewport, navigate to the end panel, and enable the add-on so that it functions there. From there, you can access all the features I previously mentioned in addition to other stuff. This will allow you to quickly adjust your renders and add a nice touch without spending a lot of time in the compositor. And the best part is, you won't even need to use Photoshop or any other post-processing tool. Nevertheless, although this add-on might seem perfect, it has some shortcomings, but is not that big of a deal. It's just that some effects can appear either stronger or weaker in the viewport, and those effects are lens flare, glare, film grain, and halation, and this is due to current limitations in Blender's viewport compositing, where there is still some accuracy issues with glare nodes and blur nodes. So hopefully this will be fixed in the future, I mean future Blender versions, because they may put more emphasis on the compositing part of the software. In a nutshell, Colorist Pro is a very good add-on that makes your renders look much better in a very short period of time. That's why a lot of people are getting and buying this add-on just because it works and it saves you time and effort. So if you're interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please like this video 
and subscribe to this channel to receive more news about Blender and the CG industry in general. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.